Hi, I'm Ms. Pozak and I'm teaching writing. For today's lesson, you need a pencil and paper. So go ahead and pause this video to gather your supplies and then press play whenever you're ready. We have been doing an author study on Mo Willems. We're trying to figure out what makes a Mo Willems book a Mo Willems book. And so far, we've figured out a few different things. We know that his books have animal characters and it's the same characters who happen in every single book. We also know that his characters are usually the ones talking. There's no narration. It's all characters and speech bubbles and actions that are shown through the illustrations. We also know that his illustrations are simple drawings, usually on white backgrounds. So yesterday I had us draw a picture of a lion who had to eat his vegetables and you guys had some amazing drawings. And one of my favorite parts of Mo Willems books is really shown in the pigeon series because the pigeon is talking to you as the reader and the pigeon has a lot of different emotions in every single book and it's really easy to tell how the pigeon is feeling. One of my favorite parts of a pigeon book is whenever there's the two pages with a bunch of panels of the pigeon just going through lots of different emotions. Like maybe he's really, really excited or maybe he's really mad or maybe he's, he's scared or maybe he's, he's sad. There's lots of different emotions that he feels. And did you notice when I was saying those emotions, I changed how I looked and how my body felt? It's really fun to act out emotions and it's really easy to do in front of a mirror where you can say, I'm mad and see how your face changes and see how maybe your body changes. Or you can say, I'm mad and you can change how that looks. Or maybe you're just really excited and you're bouncing off the walls and you are just so excited. Or maybe you are furious and you're never going to be happy again or whatever your emotion is. Today, we are going to draw four panels of a lion feeling four different emotions and you're going to draw it in Mo Willems' style. So you don't need a background and you don't need a ton of detail to the illustration, but you do need to draw in such a way that you can tell how the animal is feeling. Today in writing, you are going to draw four illustrations of a lion feeling four different emotions. And then you'll take a picture and post on Google Slides. I'm really excited to get to see how amazing your illustrations are.